What is up players? Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesdays. This week's tutorial is going to be on another Final Fantasy XIV Online tutorial. These are in high demand and this one in particular has been requested by many users. So we're going to get in on it. What tutorial are we doing today? Well, we are starting the Crossbar series. We are launching this. It is our high priority tutorial series because it's got the most demand from our subscribers. So here it is. We're going to be telling you how we set up our crossbars for each class. This will help you get used to the controller platform whether you're on PS3, PS4, or PC with a gamepad. So let's get in on it. Well, as you can see, I'm a monk. This is my level 50 character, my main juicy ruse on Diabolos. And I'm basically going to only show you the adventuring crossbars. Um, we're not going to go into the battle set um, because we want to leave that specific for the classes. This adventuring crossbars are going to be universal across all your classes. You might even want to share these. So. Keep an eye on what you like and use the most and just set these up for this crossbar. So, what is an adventuring crossbar? Well, set one is my main adventuring crossbar. It's basically what I use when I'm traveling around adventuring. Um, as you can see, I have my gear sets to the left, which change between my combat classes, my crafting classes, and my gathering classes. Also, I always put this particular uh, spot on my crossbar as either a hunting log, a crafting log, or a gathering log. So depending on the class that it shows up as is what that's going to be. Uh, whatever class you are, you're going to want quick access to that particular log when you're adventuring, uh, so you don't have to dig through the menu as deep. Alright, so moving from left to right, we're going to go on to my transportation-ish setup. Uh, these ones right here. I set up for traveling basically because sprint this is actually in the default location which is L2 and triangle uh, it's very comfortable to press that button combo when you're already moving the left analog stick so you don't really have to stop your character just to sprint to continue moving forward in the sprinting fashion and of course you're gonna want a chocobo mount access or whatever mount you use and you're going to want quick access to that while you are adventuring because traveling the world on foot takes forever. Now, you could choose to put uh, other things on here. I chose to put my summon chocobo items, uh, my greens which summon my chocobo and withdraw to withdraw my chocobo. Uh, moving more to the right, we have my quick access to marks. Now this doesn't mean that I'm trying to tank or anything, target to attack. I just use these particularly to mark certain things when I'm in a party of like new players or something where I'm trying to tell them uh, where a particular NPC is at and I just mark them or if I mark one over my head because they can't find me or something like that or if maybe they're on a PS3 and they're rendering isn't exactly perfect so you might want to mark a target so it gives it more priority in their rendering so yeah the this actually used to be a little bit different I used to have uh, all my chocobo stances here like healer stance um, you know defender stance free stance etc and you could change the stance of your chocobo while it's out um, that's a good thing to have um, I'm actually thinking about putting it back on because I don't really mark too much uh, stuff nowadays so to show you exactly how I would do that, basically I would go to my companions or whatever skill you want to put on your crossbar and you'd basically, you know, just add this. So let's just put it on three and then and four. Now I do this because I don't really have any other skills on my chocobo that require anything else. So I think I'll just leave it as that and I will probably change my signs from you know maybe like one to ignore so I'll put I'll put this and I'll put this so yeah so now I can change the stance of my chocobo you know whatever before I go into battle or I can tell uh, party members to ignore a certain thing or mark it with an X so that they can pay attention to it 
So yeah, and if you noticed, I did have quick access to signs just in case you want to mark anything uh, differently. Uh, I put key items on the X button because uh, you do particularly get quests where you have to use an item and you want to go ahead and, you know, have quick access to that. Now, you might be wondering why I put stance and auto attack right here. I used to have auto attack here where stance is, but um, I kind of just put auto attack here to fill in this void because I don't like anything empty because I'm kind of OCD like that. But yeah, I put stance right here because no matter what your position is towards your target, uh, you kind of get used to, from the default setup, uh, initiating a battle by holding R2 and pressing circle for your first skill. Uh, and that's how your crossbar is set up initially. Your first attack skill is on there. So if you automatically hold R2 and hit circle, that basically changes your stance and it switches to your battle setup. Now we'll go more into the battle setup in the f next video. But for now we're just staying on the adventuring class. So... This is basically all I've ever needed to have on my adventuring menu. Uh, well, not really menu, adventuring crossbar. Uh, while you're walking around, I mean, this is pretty much all you, I've ever needed access to. Uh, things like teleport and return are easily accessed through the travel menu by just by pressing start, so you don't really need to waste crossbar space with that. Uh, your map can be pulled up by pressing square, so there's no need to add a quick access button for a map. Also, Access to your inventory is very simple once you get used to just pressing start and down twice. So I don't have any problems not having a quick access button on my crossbar. Same with character, action and traits, and companions, stuff like that. Duty, uh, I have no problem going to the duty finder through the main menu. I don't need a quick access button. Because you could also just pull up your quest information just by selecting it on the duty list. So, yeah. Um, basically, this is all I've ever needed. Now, I do have it set up in my configuration that in my crossbar settings, see, I'm sharing some of them, but when my weapon is sheathed, it's got 1 through 4, and when it's out, I get 5 through 8. So, 1 through 4 basically are my adventuring, and 5 through 6 is my battle. Now I only have two crossbars pretty much that have s stuff on it, one and three. I used to use set four to have quick access to marks. So every single mark under the signs tab, which is these right here, were on my set four. But I found that to just be more cumbersome switching crossbars than to just having um, a few of them set to my crossbar at one time. So yeah, I took that off. But yeah. As you can see, I only really have two, and this is the one that I almost always stay on. And then I have emotes just in case I don't really feel like typing and I want to get my point across. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I don't know what else you would want to particularly add to your adventuring bars. Uh, but in a sense, if you do it exactly the way I do it, right now you actually only need two crossbars for adventuring. Everything else you could use for combat, but... In my opinion, you, you don't really need that many combat crossbars, otherwise it's going to make combat a little bit more cumbersome. So yeah guys, um, this is pretty much the start of the class crossbar situation tutorial. This is going to help you get through your classes and set them up. We're going to start out with the monk next episode, the monk and the pug. Because that is my main and that is the one that I have to level 50, so you can see it with every single skill provided for this character then we're going to move on to the following classes we're going to prioritize tanks and healers first and then we're going to move on to the rest of the dps classes so guys i hope you're really interested in seeing this series of cross bars for your class so if you like this video Make sure to hit that like button, favorite if it's one of your favorite videos of all time. Be sure to subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash epicresetgaming. And until next time guys, play hard and peace.